Hello everybody, welcome to Top 10 Fix channel. Today I want to show you how to erase FOP and passcode on OPPO A3s CP8 1853. That we need to, uh, firstly we need to uh, cut uh, the shear on the video you can see right there. Okay, you can cut or you can do just the same as what I'm doing. Okay. And then you need to have a microscope to see because everything is too small that we cannot see by our own eyes. These are the tools that I'm gonna use to make a jumper between the two. Okay, and this is the wire. Okay, you can see that. You need to have all the tools before make a jumper between the motherboard. Okay, so all right, right here, uh, we got four pins. Okay, that we need to uh, make a jumper. Okay, uh, f firstly is the GND. Okay, GND is called ground. Okay, ground you can make a jumper everywhere that is ground. Okay, so this is an example for the ground. Okay, and the second pin is DO that is data zero. Okay, you, we have to make a jumper on these two. You can count the component one, two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, on the six, that is the pin for DO, and the next, the next pin is CMD. Okay, CMD. Uh, that is next together. We need to make the jumper, and the fourth pin is CLK. Okay, you can make your the jumper between the motherboard to the tool and you have to try your best because it's too small and we need to make sure that uh, the connector between the motherboard and the tool is probably connected very very well okay after that after the jumper we need to put the motherboard into uh, the frame because we need to connect the USB okay the USB cable to the motherboard okay just connect the USB okay without battery you know we don't just the battery right here and we need to just the two connectors Firstly is the USB, micro USB, okay, we have to plug the USB and then the cable to uh, to the computer with the tool, okay, just connect uh, the two, all right, after that, uh, we have to make a stable, okay, so after that, on the tool, we need to use the MKE MMC Plus V 3.1. And for this tool, we don't need any file for for writing. We just select on the format data, and then we need to check the device. All right, we can see right now. This is the device that uh, we have just. Uh, connect to the PC and then we have to make sure that uh, it completely connected to the PC very very well we need to try to check again and again okay so after seeing the device and the device is lost so we need to check again you know it take me about 10 minutes for connecting to the PC 
from the device to the feed to the PC, it takes me about 10 minutes. You know, we, we have to try our best to connect and try to check the device again and again and again and again to make sure that the connection is very, very well. And the uh, connection is lost, so I need to try to connect again. It's maybe about 10 times, 10 times for connecting to the PC. Is it is difficult to connect to the PC? As as you can see in the video, I try to connect many times. Okay, so that's it now. I check again and again and again, but uh, yeah, and the device is still in the service option, and then we need to select on the confirm. Okay. Okay, and then the process will begin and done. Okay, just only this. Okay, that is okay for the formatting, and then we need to select on the stop button. Okay, so that's it for the tool, and after that, we need to go to uh, the motherboard in order to uh, disconnect the wire between the tool. Okay, or the wire, we need to disconnect it. This is the ground, okay. All right. After the uh, disconnecting, we need to make the shell to where it was. I don't cut. I don't cut the the shell because uh, I know that it's that is okay if I use uh, like this. No need to cut the shell but uh, that's okay if you want to cut the shell okay that is your that is the choice but for me I don't cut the the shell all right after that we need to put the motherboard back into the frame to the bar to the body of the phone put it back And after that, uh, we need to turn on the phone and let's see is it work for the formatting the data. Okay, that's okay. It is formatting the data now. Okay, that's okay. And then the phone will re will. Uh, will be automatically reboot to the menu and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes so uh, that's it and that's okay for this video and thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel